What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're back at it again, yes we're trying to knock off some items on our Destiny 1 bucket list. There are weapons that I want that I do not have that I want to get before Destiny 1 ends. So we're going to get those via the Crucible Quartermaster Bounties. Now yes, these weapons are Trials of Osiris weapons and I know I could go into Trials and play Trials and have better odds at getting it. but. I don't have a ton of fun in trials and I can still get these via just doing normal crucible where I can just sit back and relax. So will I get these weapons? They are seemingly elusive. Right now in this week's video we're looking for the blind prediction and the burning eye scout rifle because we've got some pulse rifle bounties and some scout rifle bounties to turn in. So if we get lucky we'll get those. If we don't well we've still got more videos to do. So the reason why we didn't do a video yesterday was I was working on rebranding and pretty much getting a Twitch channel set up. So if you happen to go look for Casey Kid on Twitch, you're going to see that my channel is definitely started and there is definitely more stuff in there, though obviously no videos because we haven't streamed yet. But look out because that's going to be happening maybe even today. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. It is going to be quite a show to begin with. Quite a show because I am going to have to learn on the fly. Anyway, let's turn in this Titan Bounty here. And we got a 77 wizard from Lord Shax. So this has all the impact that you could want. But it has four in the magazine. And then whenever you get Brace Frame to actually boost up its stability, you get taken down to three. So I'm not a big fan of that. Saladin's Vigil is just far, far better in my personal opinion. So we're just going to delete this. And we're going to move on. So next up, we've got the Titan. And we've got the Crucible Quartermaster Bounties. These are the ones that really, really, truly, truly matter for the bucket list. Let's start off with our heavy weapon. We got an Ash Factory. And now for our Scout Rifle, a Hero Formula. Okay, so it was not the Burning Eye Scout. Let's look at the Ash Factory first. And this is a pretty solid rocket launcher. The problem is it has one in the magazine, and I'm not a big fan of that. Overall, the rolls on this weapon, Grenadier is always a solid perk. Javelin plus our barrel perk of hard launch, that gives us a lot of velocity. That's actually really, really solid. Now, on our hero formula, unfortunately, I bought the hero formula two weeks ago whenever we had explosive rounds and firefly, and if you have explosive rounds and use that in PvE, you will never want to use anything else, even though that roll is pretty solid that we got right there. So moving on to our warlock, again, we're going to start off with Lord Shax bounties. Turning in this one for clash, we end up getting ourselves... We got an Unending Deluge, which is actually a pretty good heavy machine gun. Though whenever I look at it and compare it to mine, mine is just far, far better. Mine's kind of like a corrective measure. This one is falling short, though we did get a lot of stability there with Soft Ballistics, though of course at the cost of impact. And then my stability boosting perks are only going to take away from my magazine, so I am not a fan. We're going to pass on that, and we're going to move on to the Quartermaster Bounties. Yet again, we've got a Scout Rifle and a Heavy Let's turn in our heavy first and ruin wake, okay? And for the scout, come on, we want cryptic dragon. All right, so we got a scout rifle. It just was not the scout rifle that we were in need of, not the scout rifle that we deserved. So this ruin wake, look at those stats, look at that stability. Or you could go linear compensator, which I might do because that's still pretty nice stability overall. Spray and play is great on heavy machine guns. Then we could go with Fitted Stock or Hand Laid Stock, holy crap, or Reinforced Barrel even because that's still really nice stability. And Grenadier, like I said, solid, not spectacular, but always a pretty solid perk. So that Rune Wake isn't bad. This Cryptic Dragon, whoa, look at this. Okay, so let's just go off and look at the sights. The sights are interesting. Crowd Control, what do we have in the middle? Brace Frame, okay, nice stability or tons of range, tons of range, and then Firefly. I think people would really enjoy using this. This is, again, the Vision of Confluence style of Scout Rifle, so you just know that it's going to work in PvE for sure. So that is a really, really solid roll. Okay, well, let's move on over to our Hunter. Again, we've got our Lord Shax bounties. Let's turn in this Clash one, see what we end up getting. There we go. There's an exotic. It really does seem like Lord Shax bounties give you a lot of exotics. In fact, there's a Fourth Horseman already. And here's our brand new 4th Horseman, which looks like it has less stability than the one I already have on. Taking a look at some of these perks, 4th Horseman is really, really underrated. 
Just a part of me wants to use it in PvP for some reason. I don't know why, but a part of me really wants to use it, and in PvE, it can really, really shine. Okay, we've got the big stuff though. Quartermaster time. First, our heavy weapon. It is a titanium orchid, so there we go. Iron banner gear and our scout rifle. Yet another cryptic dragon. So, let's look at our titanium orchid. It does have grenades and horseshoes, which is great. There's some more velocity as well, and javelin as well. So, wow, we've got a lot of velocity on this sucker. Though, I do already have titanium orchids that I like to have. Of all the flavors, I believe, I think I have every element. So, I'm probably not going to keep this one. Okay, let's take a look at this cryptic dragon. Holy crap. Holy crap, we thought the last one was good. What about this one? Oh man, we've got Zen Moment, which is exactly like the Vision of Confluence. High caliber rounds, hand laid stock, oh my goodness. We could have all that stability at the cost of range or high caliber rounds and Firefly. Oh my goodness, this one looks amazing. I'm going to keep this one. I am absolutely going to keep this one. It's basically like a Vision of Confluence, except it has Firefly instead of full auto. Just take a look. If I wanted to put on hand light sock, I could really bump up that stability and probably have about the same range or go with high caliber rounds for PvE. That is sick. That's a really good roll. Alright, moving on to our Warlock. This is some new stuff. I believe these are bounties from just this week. Let's turn in our shacks and we got another exotic. There we go. Light Beyond Nemesis. Taking a look, the stats are so-so on it. Intellect Discipline, at least that is good. Though 4142, not exactly nearing that 100% barrier. Still, overall, this helmet is just middle of the pack. It drops extra orbs. That's a nice thing. It can revive faster. That's a nice thing. But it's not going to help you kill things faster. Now, moving on to the big stuff, we've got Pulse and we have Scout. So, this is the stuff that truly, truly matters. Let's turn in the Scout and we got an NL Shadow. Okay, Blind Perdition. No. No. Nerwin's Mercy. No, no, no. Can't get those Trials primary weapons. I can't get them. I got your two Trials primary pulse rifle, but that has been about it. Overall, this NL Shadow, I'm going to pass on it because Gorilla Fighter at the end. Womp womp. And our Nerwin's Mercy, it starts off looking pretty solid. It's got really nice base stats. Outlaw, that's great. Fitted stock, help boost up that stability or tons of range, but last resort don't really love it now finally we're going to move on to our hunter again we've got a couple bounties here we've got scout we've got pulse what are we going to get come on trial stuff close it out nl shadow nl shadow and we don't know we don't know because we're filled up in primary weapons so let's first take a look at this shadow and overall it looks like it just generally has solid perks we've got crowd control always a nice thing Field Scout's good, Injection Mold, or Small Bore, and then Army of One, pretty solid, but we're probably just going to delete it. Again, we've got that Hero Formula that is amazing, and finally, Quartermaster, what have you got? Uh, you don't have Blind Perdition. You have a Party Favor, though somehow that Party Favor has really great perks on the ends. Taking a look at our site, and then we've got Outlaw, and then we've got Partial Refund, so Outlaw for sure, Small Bore, or Rifled Barrel. I would go with Rifle Barrel in this case because that magazine is already really low, so just boost up that range, but it's not a Blind Perdition, and it's not a Burning Eye, so we have to move on and do our bucket list yet again. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos, good luck with your raids, your drops, your bucket list, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag God Tier Cryptic Dragon.